When we're looking at Rajjurni's art, uh, when I'm looking at it, I'm thinking about uh, master artists like uh, Kadinsky, and I, w I was thinking to myself about Kadinsky, and I was thinking about how his work was of the sky, and uh, Rajjurni's work is of, of the earth. What's unusual in visual art especially when you're working with this particular kind of medium, is to see that kind of textual understanding in art today. People are not really interested or, or possessed by trying to explore or understanding texture and its relationship to color. That's unusual. These figurines that are in the works are not um, complete, I think, because human beings in a way are self-evolving and haven't completed themselves. But when I look at the art and I try to, in, I try to digest the impressions of the works, I see that the forms and so on, the colors and what he's trying to, to communicate are in some respects indigestible. But one, one magnetized towards digesting those forms. I don't think that there's necessarily conceptual social commentary on the, on the cityscape, but to get the impression that the human figure, the incomplete human figure who wants to be box-like, um, condo-like, um, as juxtaposed to some ancient kind of impression uh, that wants to transport you out of yourself. Man wants to pursue escape, but yet is again trapped in escape of condo-itis. That, that, that's something I saw. When, when, you're, when you're looking at the expression of certain kinds of, of um, visual art, it's trying to bring you into a state that goes beyond your normal repertoire of, of everyday experience, people's everyday experience, especially with respect to shape, color, texture, and how human beings are entrapped in themselves, I think has, is quite limited. So I think the art itself is, the, the works that he's created or trying to, to be a vehicle for, are, are trying to, to express themselves in, in that way. That's what I, I'm getting by that. Rez treats the canvas as a site upon which a simple motif could repeatedly occur with energy, balance and harmony. The lines and shape space align themselves within each painting or drawing according to an organic internal logic, as fluid as a stream of consciousness. The collisions of overripe hues and jagged tectonic fault lines vibrate with an otherworldly essence, giving off an enigmatic quality of a visual mythology. Well, it's difficult to talk about art in general because art goes beyond the rational mind. But I think what's important is that people are too caught up in explanations for explanations themselves. And I think that, that that's the allure of his, his work. That you can't, you have to export yourself beyond explanations. 